Wow, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash Love Request video. I actually stuck to my promise. It's weekly. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I actually stuck to my promise for once. As always, make sure you use the Google form linked in the description. I promise I'll remember to refresh it this time. If you submitted last week, you gotta do it again. Yada yada. We're starting off with a level by Lone Wolf first. 8BR2P2 Sonata. Right? I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't read that. We need a progress bar for these song downloads, man. Come on. Add it to the game, Rob. Okay, let's go. That is a nice intro. Slamming in that color. I like the little pixelations on the beat. That's nice. It feels so off with me being so far on the left. It feels like a movie credits or something. I like the blocks in the background. Could maybe have a little more to them just to differentiate them from the other pillars that are in the background, but this is cool. Very clean so far. The camera is very fancy. Particles are cool, but quite quick to move, I'll say. But this rotation is crazy. Oh my god, this goes hard. That transition was hidden for real. I really like how it goes radial in that little beat switch. I love the big, bright colors that you've used for these saw blades. These particles work well. When the blocks get a lot bigger, it reveals that they don't have as much detail as like the amount of particles that are around them, right? So I think the more enclosed sections work much better than these big open sections like the robot. But this has some insane, insane parts to it. Holy jeez. I, I, I can't see where the actual blocks are, but this is so cool looking. Okay, that's that's impossible to see, dog. There's a giant cube in my face. <laughs> okay, so my main feedback with this level is that it feels amazing to play, but I also can't tell what's happening sometimes. Look how cool this is. Bro, snap. This is level one for the day, dude. I'm not warmed up. I respect this a lot. It's just impossible to play, dog. YouTube's gonna have a field day with the compression on this video and also just the intensity of this whole thing. Oh, we're back into the regular design. That is a sick switch up. I would try and avoid the arrows that don't really indicate all that much. Some of them point in weird directions and stuff. I think your colors have a lot of contrast, which works really well. And I think just having the arrows as white kind of takes away from what you've built up here. But yeah, this level is so good. This swing copter feels amazing to play. And I I love that you switched up the color with like every single beat and you've made really good use of the particles. I would just slow a few of them down, but they definitely don't detract from the level because you have so much energy built up here. That's probably about a... Ooh, okay. What? I probably wouldn't have used this part of the song for this gimmick, but this is really cool. I dig it. I am staring very intently at this square down here. That's where my eyes went. Where did your eyes go to? Let me know in the comments. I'm actually curious where everyone like looks in this section because I was staring over to the right. Yeah, it's just the, the gameplay is something that you'll learn with time, I feel. But yeah, I would try and use a, a few more creative designs because your colors are perfect. You can really make some great stuff out of what you've got. What is happening now? <laughs> That's a sick transition, dude. I actually really respect what this level goes for. Every time the song spaces out, you've got that radial blur, you've got the neon colors. You've built these parts up so well. I respect it. Take a break. That's not a break. That's a triple. Hello? Okay, there we go. That's an awesome transition. What? Just a random crazy auto section in the middle. Ignore my practice checkpoint that was on the screen there. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the immersion with my checkpoint. Whoa. Remember I was saying earlier, like, whenever you zoom the screen out, it takes away from the intensity you've built up. How am I doing this? Holy crap, I'm insane. Um, wait, is this auto? It's auto. I've been... I thought I was playing. <laughs> So yeah, this part does a lot better with its open sections of the screen because it's actually filling them with interesting stuff. When we zoomed out earlier, the blocks and the ground and the deco there wasn't really doing it enough. But this is crazy because you've got so much variance. You've got like a outside of the screen, you've got overlays, you've got saw blades. This is insanity, dude. So much is packed into this one level. Oh my God, it's stopping the auto. Hold on, I gotta remember how to play the game. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this is definitely at least a feature sent, dude. I want to put epic, but the gameplay is retracting for me, so I gotta put feature, dude. You should be proud, because when you built all of this, you wanted me to feel the hype, and I did. Okay, the screen's doing a lot right now. This rotation is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. It's just a random icon there saying so. Yeah, 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 this is a feature. You already know. You already know. Nine? It's it's pretty much a demon, dude, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine just to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, dude. What? I need to get my breath back. Whirlpool by PNCSR using Fem Tunnel Katamari. Ooh, flashy level. Like it. Like the energy right off the bat. I like the little dude in the background. The clusters of orbs. The bouncing particles and stuff. This is insanely fresh. I love how all of these levels have so many moving and changing assets just to keep my interest. 
I like the camera that follows me as the player, it actually doesn't feel intrusive. I can still see exactly what's going on. And those particles are insane. Dude, this level's going too quick for me to commentate on what's good about it. Love this little glitchy gameplay section. The colors are beautiful all around. I love that water. The bulges are awesome. Dude, this is incredible. You guys just make bangers. Literally, not a, not a single level disappoints me. It's nuts. I just did a two attempt practice run and this level was verified by someone else. That's a skill issue from the creator. I'm kidding. I had to look for something negative to say, dude. The only part that's kind of disappointing is this one little section here with the cube because it doesn't really have much to it. If I just use this still as an example, there's so much space between these blocks and the background just ends up being really open. And you can't decorate on top of this because of how detailed it is. But it looks sick. I love what you went for. I think it's really cool what you did, how you put like the orbs and stretched them out so that you could create a new shape and have it animated. I just think some of these structures kind of feel like an afterthought. And the ending looks looks nice, but these brick pillars aren't exactly the greatest. I don't think they blend with the background and the rest of the blocks like they're intended to, if that makes sense. I'm gonna make a new color channel that copies number two with blending. I don't know. I just don't think these pillars are a good match overall. I thought maybe the color could be blended a bit better. But yeah, without them, there's kind of just a lack of detail. Like, there's no connections between these structures. They're also just kind of basic. I also appreciate the little well reference. I think it features good. Next up, Lights by Noctuous, using Lights by Namice. I really like Namice as an artist, so I'm very excited to see what this is. Another low download level, let's go for it. Woo! Straight away, the gradient open up there with the little invert effect. That's sick. Cool particle in the background. Love the way the blocks are built up to not be straight on the edges, but actually be built up. That portal lighting up is super cool. I dig it. This is hype. This level is pacing itself well. Okay. The saw blades are looking slightly basic, but I do like the bubble details around them and how the particles are coming out the ground. Like, this is building itself up well. Let's see what happens after this section. I like that little block lighting up thing. Good tension being created by these spikes moving up and down. I also really like that area fade effect with these little pixel objects. I'd maybe add just a little bit more to those that, like, lights it up in a bunch of different ways instead of one. But we have a cool swing copter here with a giant scaling heart. This goes hard. Love the particles all around. They complement each other well. Lots of glow. And I like the outlines on the blocks too. I'd maybe just add a little bit more detail to the structuring, but I like the shockwaves. I like the gradients. Yeah, there's a lot of open space between the structures and on the ground too. And I'm seeing a lot of these saw blade sections that don't really do much for the level in my opinion. When you look at a lot of established featured levels and whatnot, you'll see that the levels use their structuring to bring the next parts together. Whereas this feels a little bit more random. Like in the beginning, this atmosphere is a lot more convincing because of how well you've used the structuring and those extra little black details around the edges. It gives it a lot more spice. But then this part feels a lot more open just because you're not really directing me anywhere and I'm kind of just dodging saw blades. And this section feels kind of out of place too with some visible spikes. The transition's not exactly polished. But I like these slow moving background pieces too. I didn't mention those at the beginning. And the colors have a lot of potential. I think it just has a little bit more work that can be done before I would like to send this for a rating. Okay, next up we have Phantom by Teacopy1 using Haunted Gauntlet by Thief of Void. Green. Ooh, I really like this green, bright green thing you got going on. The swinging pendulum in the background is really nice. Hold, gotcha. Nice, cool transition with the screen shift. Spam! Okay, we have little spamming sections here where you remove a saw blade if you click in time with the song there three times, which is pretty cool. I personally prefer preventative measures like spikes or something that more clearly shows me than just some text saying spam. But hold on, let me go back because I want to talk about this section. I really like the little flame decorations inside the pillar. I think this design is really good that it's translucent and it's letting the background shine. I think that's a great quality of this level is how well you've brought the background into the level. Okay. We have a cooler section with the wave here that I'm disappearing with. The texturing on the blocks is super cool. I much prefer these slope designs. Holy crap, that goes so hard. But yeah, again, we have this brick background that's perfectly working with the detail. I think some of the transitions are a little bit sudden. It kind of idolizes that 2.0 thing of like, oh, there's a spiral, we're gonna teleport. Honestly, this level flows pretty well for the most part. This background kind of looks like wallpaper. I just think my gripe is a lot of the structures are just boxes and it leaves a lot of weird space around the top and bottom of the screen when you could have some sort of overlay or ground spike because like how do you detail that space you know especially with such a detailed background for every part okay i really like these little whoa 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 what's going on with that block there hold on these little slopes that are inside the block are kind of messing with it you see how i kind of just bounced the gameplay feels very stretched out how i'm kind of just sliding across a lot of these blocks 
it, it has a weird flow to it that I'm not huge on. Here, I think you've done really well with the bright details and mixing up the structuring. Yeah, the structures in the beginning, they kind of have little step down blocks. They're not just straight up pillars. The clouds work really well. I would like to see that a little bit more in the level. I just think overall in this level, if you take an outline like this and copy the values, if you go and get yourself some sort of ground spike or curved object and paste the state onto it and just kind of warp it up to a value that makes sense, you can create some pretty cool shapes. Let me just do it a little bit more. Being careful you don't make it too big because it does get kind of rough and patchy. These look really good. I really like these chain objects. They go hard. Next up, we have Confusant by <laughs> Long Nub using Shining Sprinter by Mega Wolf 77. Let's just get straight into this. Ooh, we have one of these like animated effect levels, I guess. This is cool. I like this sync straight away, how we're going backwards and forwards. The screen shift is amazing. These moving blocks are fantastic. I love these kind of levels, dude. They go so hard. Do your thing. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at that. We just took the block out of the level. These particles are amazing. We just got shifted in a little spinning contraption into a separate part. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Please never stop making these kind of levels. They literally make me so happy, and I don't know why. You just get so many unique and different effects that you don't normally see in, like, fully decorated levels. Ooh, that screen shift is nice. What just happened? Whoa, we're going sideways for a second. Hold on. Oh, it's changing the perspective. I see. Okay. So we had like a top-down view there. And then we went to a 3D view. Dude, the, the game is shifting. So it looks like I need to jump on that block and then it shifts me into a triple spike. Like, I gotta time it a bit better if I know that's coming. Come on. I know in this video, feature, 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 feature. I'm just saying, I think some of this lacks polish and the gameplay is a little bit strange at times. Wait! One thing I want to point out, in the intro, when we hit the orbs and portals, you can see the circles of me hitting them on the left side. Literally, all you have to do, we just select all of the orbs and the portals here, go to edit group, and then just go extra, and turn off this one. Or turn it on, I mean. Turn off the effect by turning on no effect. Because now when we play, you won't be able to see the orb effect on the left-hand side of the screen, which is really important to keep that immersion of me being on the right side of the screen, you know? <sighs> Thank you for watching this Geometry Dash Love Request video. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day!